Uh, I don't even need to go to the, the hotel. I don't know why I set that as my waypoint, but oh well. Uh, we haven't been there, so we may as well just stick our nose in and discover it. Voila, and hopefully we get a delivery from the depot that's just up here because we haven't discovered that yet. External contracts. What can we find? So, Euro Goodies is indeed the place that we want to go from, but only if we can go to, you know, there we go, Zurich. Now, is there one a little bit further? <laughs> yep, Bern, there we go, we can go to Bern. Oh, that's a heavy load apparently, which is good. Okay, here we go. Can I just drive through here? <laughs> This doesn't go anywhere, right? Oh, it does. Where's this going to take me? Can I get out from here? Not that way, I can't. But yeah, I, I can get out by turning left here. Interesting. That's cool. I did not expect that. Interesting that it didn't even mark it on my uh, map as a little dotted line or anything. Alright, all the way around to the side and get a big gas pipeline part, apparently. There we go. And let's head back to Switzerland. We'll try our luck on the um, petrol. Um, I'm fairly sure I should be able to get most of the way there. Does it show our distance to empty? 11.62. Ah. Yeah, I mean, that will tick down faster. Almost always does. But from 4.31, seems good. Alright, scenic mode time. All we see is just this giant pipe. I never really think of gas pipelines as being this big, but I only ever really see them from further away. Six hours twenty should be about twenty-five minutes, I guess. So we will speed as much as we can to keep that down. Shave a few corners here and there as well. I'm really bad at remembering to pay attention to the time. 12.05 is the projected arrival. And I'll know how well my driving has been in terms of path efficiency if I arrive much before then. <laughs> we'll see if we can pay attention to that. But for now, this is a road that we have travelled before. There is some cool sights to see. Ah, oh, this is the bit where it goes down to one lane each way because they haven't finished the tunnel yet but I remember remarking that it would be nice if they just pretended that they had when it comes to putting it in the game unless they're going to do a separate update for when it gets completed in real life just sneak past there perfect timing excellent I'm probably going to have to stop for the toll booth though Oh, no, there's no barrier. Perfect. Uh, but there's traffic. Ooh. <laughs> 
So I still had to slow down. Alright. Now I think we're at the point, hopefully, that we can sit back and enjoy the scenery when we're not in tunnels. So this is kind of amusing because I remember quite clearly, reasonably clearly, coming through here on a different stream slash episode. And it was when Austria had been reworked, but Switzerland had not. Which is why my expiration of that road just finished back there. So we had come through this far. Uh, how do I get into the gas station? Was, was that the entrance? Because I kind of wanted to go to that gas station. Oh well. I guess we have to turn in and then come out again? No, I'm not going to bother. Um, oh, this is the entrance to the border crossing anyway. Oh, okay. They just straight up don't have the full border crossing available. Um, in terms of like the car and bus area you can only drive through the truck part interesting big rail yard as well this is uh, very different from what it was when I was last here At least we didn't have to stop. So that's interesting. There's no like it shows the little card icon, but nothing made me stop. Oh well. Alright, well that's a different experience, that's for sure. So we have been this way on a previous stream. I can't even remember what I was doing. It was... Is it one of the Christmas ones, perhaps? And I just happened to drive through to Innsbruck or something? I honestly can't remember. The last time I played this game was Christmas time, so I'm guessing it must have been something like that. Well, back on the road and another 10 or so minutes to burn. Why is it making me drive through the city again? I really thought that it would have me bypass. I guess because I've got it set to like 
shortest route. Because if ever there was a reason to drive up and around the city, it would be because I'm hauling a heavy cargo through here. But, yeah, it seems the game doesn't make that distinction. Oh well. Keep right. Turn left. It would actually be interesting if there was a kind of route guidance option or just how it naturally worked that instead of giving you like the shortest distance that it would if you were pulling a trailer specifically that it would force you to stay on certain roads like stay on the main roads and avoid the city centers and stuff but there's depots in here so I guess it can't do that either or it would at least send you around through the interchange that's up here to get to this part of town as opposed to driving through that bit matters more in other places rather than right here but Like, I like having the roads that Keep aren't left. really suitable for large vehicles. I like them to be there. But I wouldn't expect the route guidance to actually go that way. Should be a viewpoint. <laughs> be a perfect opportunity at the services up here to have a viewpoint off to the side that uh, showcased the dam that was there. Oh well. Interlaken and Thun. I have been there. I wish you could go to Interlaken in this. <laughs> That'd be nice. Be a nice drive. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Turn Brunnen.
Niederwangen. Apparently. I'm not even gonna go there. I'll turn right, you see? And... okay. Squeeze. <laughs> Why outrun them? Alright, and then we are forced to go left, oddly. Straight through here, and... Wait. Which way? This way? This is a very confusing road network. Okay. We are taking the interchange. Alright. <laughs> and now we go right, apparently. Not, not left. Oh, it goes under. Okay. Exit right. All right. Whew, okay. Yeah, confusing road network. Get ready to turn right. Well, you should probably go in the cab now, because this is much right. skinnier roads. Need a bit of perspective of where we are. I don't think there's any way to take that corner without going wide. These roads do not feel designed for big trucks. And originally our estimate for delivery was 12.05, now it's 11.04, so we've shaved off a full hour, which is nice. And I don't think that's just down to the fact that we were speeding. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. I mean, now it is, but. Get ready to turn. So there's right. service station, there's garage. So all of these things we have technically unlocked before. I'm fairly sure I do own the garage. It's showing as a rest stop, so I must. Why is the block on the road all the way up there instead? That's weird. If mind. Um, straight ahead seems best. <laughs> Honestly, taking it over there and reversing it isn't that difficult, but this is certainly much quicker. We're going to have to probably back up again though. Oh, no, actually. Actually. Back it through, and there we go. Didn't even need to fix it up. Perfect. And that should be halfway there. That'll be 5 out of 10. Awesome. Navigation. World map. There we go. And there is a lot of Germany. Uh, not Germany. A lot of Switzerland still to discover. Oh, there is a squiggly pass through here. Ooh. That looks nice. That does not look correct to take a giant truck on, but it looks like fun. <laughs> Oh, and there's one of the passes too. Yeah, I just wasn't paying enough attention. I feel that there's, there is another pass through here as well, I think. Hmm. Yep, they've edited some interesting roads. Taking a trailer on those uh, could be a bit dicey. But they could be fun to just drive on with just the truck. Though I really need to do something about the brakes because they keep locking up.